So times have massively changed. Pretty much nobody works full time in an office anymore, having to pretend they actually get on with their co-workers, forcing down Daniel from HR's god-awful brand muffins out of some sort of twisted politeness. And as mobile trailblazers who spend a good chunk of our time away from our desks, it's more important than ever that we've got a beefy and dependable laptop to help us stay connected and stay productive on the move. And that's where the HP EliteBook 1040G powered by Intel comes in. You've got a strong focus on design, portability, security and privacy here, but without any compromise to that performance thanks to the Intel smarts stuffed inside. The HP EliteBook 1040G starts from 1,439 pund or 1,799 US dollars. You can snap for one right now from the HP store. So let's take a tour of some of the best features and a massive thanks to HP and Intel for sponsoring this video. Cheers! Now certainly if you find yourself on the road a lot, the HP EliteBook 1040G's compact 14 inch form factor will absolutely delight you. The EliteBook is so pleasingly compact that I can even cram it inside of my daughter's Disney backpack. And it weighs just 1.2 kilos so she can happily lug it around for me all day as well. Let's bribe her with a bit of Haribo. But don't judge it on its size, the EliteBook 1040G may be small but it's also tough as nails. In fact it survives 19 different military standard durability tests. So it can take some serious punishment when you can't knit about the place. It's basically the laptop equivalent of Joe Pesci. And it's good news from an environmental standpoint as well because the HP EliteBook 1040G is constructed from 90% recycled magnesium. Also those keycaps are 50% recycled plastics from DVDs, remember them. And also those bezels surrounding the display are partly constructed from recycled plastics. So overall, I reckon Captain Planet would approve. And while my EliteBook 1040G sample comes with a 180 degree hinge, HP is also offering this laptop as a full-on transformer. The X360G10 sports a 360 degree hinge so that screen can fold all the way back and transform this thing into a proper full-on tablet. Now as for connectivity, well HP has managed to cram an incredible number of ports into the EliteBook 1040G considering that skinny chassis. So as well as an HDMI 2.1 port, you've got dual Intel Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, both of which can be used for charging. And you've also got not one, but two USB-A 3.2 ports. And you've also got yourself an optional smart card reader and also an optional SIM slot in case you want to stay connected wherever you roam. And even though the EliteBook 1040G is a compact 14 inch, HP has managed to cram in a good size keyboard with chiclet style keys nicely spaced. It's a pleasingly firm type in action and respectable travel again considering how skinny this thing is. Oh and that keyboard is spill resistant as well, quite handy if you enjoy the occasional beverage while you're working. And naturally it's fully backlit so you can stay productive well into the wee hours. And you've also got a good sized glass touchpad here, although like most laptop touchpads it's not amazing. Luckily you've got a ton of ports to hook up a mouse. And no worries with the performance because the EliteBook 1040G is powered by a 13th generation Intel Core 28 watt P series processor or a 15 watt U series chipset with optional Intel V Pro manageability. I've got one of the P series processors, the Intel Core i7 1370P in this sample and it's backed by a mighty 32 gigs of RAM. So if you find you generally have around two dozen browser tabs open in Chrome at any given moment, well, that's not a problem. And if you need a laptop that can perform creative tasks when you need it, a bit of photo editing, maybe some light video editing, well, again, the EliteBook 1040G can handle it. And this excellent performance is assisted by HP's dedicated cooling system. You can customize this with the very handy HP Power Manager app. This can perform a battery health check, just make sure everything is as it should be. You've also got the battery charge manager, so the EliteBook 1040G can prevent overcharging. Just make sure that your battery health remains strong. But if you want to check out the coolant tech, well jump into system control, which is set by default to the HP SmartSense mode. And this provides optimized, scalable performance, and it's the result of an exclusive collaboration between HP and Intel. So you won't find this anywhere else. But if you do want to take control, three other modes are available. Cool, quiet, when you just need a bit of peace, and performance if you are really going at it. And for that one, you'll definitely need to get plugged in. 
Now yet another highlight of the HP EliteBook 1040G is that stunning 14 inch IPS display. You've got several options here to match your own personal needs including full touch controls, you can have an anti-glare display and you can boost the resolution from Full HD up to Quad HD. I would certainly highly recommend the anti-glare finish if you are going to be working outdoors quite a lot as this really aids that visibility. The display is certainly bright enough to really help with the outdoor usability as well. You've got nice wide viewing angles. The contrast is pretty good considering it's not an OLED display. And even with the Full HD panel, I certainly found that the detail levels were crisp enough so I could comfortably edit a photo or just really enjoy a nice bit of Netflix or YouTube when I can no longer be bothered with work. And you also have the option of upgrading to one of HP's Shoreview privacy screens. This can be activated if you're working in a cafe, a plane, somewhere where other people are lurking about. It just really helps to narrow those viewing angles so people can't squint over your shoulder and catch a glimpse of whatever document you're working on. And it's not just the visuals that are great here on the EliteBook 1040G, you've also got a stereo speaker set up that spats out some pretty serious audio. Not only is it quite powerful, but also it's been fine-tuned by the lovely people at Bang & Olufsen, who kind of know a thing or two about sound. And no worries if you want to carry around a massive movie or music collection or you just find yourself doing a lot of those creative tasks because you can deck the EliteBook 1040G out with up to two terabytes of SSD storage. Now, of course, security is very important when you're working with a laptop, especially if it's got lots of sensitive documents on it. So HP has stuffed loads of great security features in here, beginning with the fingerprint sensor built into that palm rest. And that fingerprint sensor can be used to instantly but securely log into the EliteBook 1040G. And that sensor can also be used to quickly verify your identity for automatic password filling in Chrome and other sensitive tasks. And I also really love the EliteBook's Intelligent Hibernate feature. This can rouse the hibernating laptop when it detects that you've returned to your desk, so you're ready for action again in under a second. Now this feature comes courtesy of HP's 5 megapixel webcam, which is squirreled away in that top bezel. As usual, you've got that privacy switch, so you can quickly mask the camera if you don't want to be seen. And if, like most of us, you spend most of your life on Zoom and Teams and stuff like that these days, well, the MyHP app is once again absolutely packed with some fantastic video enhancement features, some old, some new, which can really make your life a lot more bearable. Now, all of the features inside of this app can be used for Zoom, Teams, all of your usual video chat fun times. And you've got loads of goodies in here. So, for instance, if you enable Enhance, you can ensure that camera captures your natural skin tones, which is good if you actually have skin tone, unlike myself. If I haven't been on holiday for three weeks, I'm basically translucent. The backlight adjustment is really handy if you happen to be sat in front of a window or some other bright source. Just make sure that you're still nicely lit and you want just a shadow. And if it was a bit of a late one last night and you're feeling a wee bit tender for your 8am Zoom call with your boss, well, no worries. You've got low light adjustments. You don't need to turn on any of the light bulbs. You sit in a near dark room and still not look like a complete vampire. And I also really like the auto framing feature, which is particularly handy if you find yourself moving around a lot during a Zoom call, a uh, Teams, whatever. Let's just make sure that the camera is panned in on you, focused on you. So even if you are standing up during a call, moving around, let's still make sure that your face is in shot. And these stuff, and as you can see here, you've got three different options. You can have it cropping in really hard on your face. Otherwise you can have a bit more of a wider angle. And now in video control, you can get a multi-cam experience as well. So all you need to do is click mixer up here. And as long as you've got a second webcam connected, you can get different angles on the go. Extreme close up. You can change the layout as well. So you can have that second video feed in a little pop up like so. And this is particularly handy if you want to, for instance, share a document while you're on a Zoom call. In this case, a picture I drew of Daniel from HR waving around his crazy brand muffins. So as you can see, I can continue to present to the camera while also sharing a document or a hilarious picture. You can also drag this second window about the place if you need to reposition it. And HP has also added keystone corrections. You've got auto keystone correction, otherwise you can manually adjust it. So no worries if you can't quite get a perfectly flat angle. As you can see there, you can instantly sort it out. And HP has added some other fantastic features in here, including the Be Right Back feature, because, you know, occasionally you'll be on a Zoom or something and nature will call, or you just really need to escape for one of those beverages. 
All you need to do is pull the pause and then hit B right back. And everyone will see this glamorous freeze frame of you with the B or B so they know that you've just buggered off for a moment. Now I just need an option where I can freeze the frame like this and not have the BRB pop up so it looks like I'm still actually paying attention when in fact I'm in a completely different part of the house. And if you can't be bothered to wear a big clunky headset or anything like that, well no worries, the Elite Book has dual mics built into it and they can clearly pick up on your voice even if you're a bit of a distance away from the laptop so you don't need to worry about people hearing what you have to say. And then you have the dynamic voice leveling feature as well. What this does is it enhances the microphone gain as you step away just to make sure you still come through loud and clear. And then it reduces the gain again as you approach the laptop to make sure that you're not absolutely deafening everyone. Of course, it's all well and good having all these whizzy features and beefy performance, but it's not much good if the laptop's then dead within about 10 minutes of you leaving the house. Thankfully, not the case here on the EliteBook 1040. You've got up to 14 hours of mixed use from a full charge. So no worries if you are traveling all day long and if you do find you're running low on juice, well you got fast charge support here too. Up to 50% battery life return from just 30 minutes at the plug. And that right there in a lovely wee nutshell is the HP EliteBook 1040 G10. Your ultimate portable pal if you want to stay connected and stay productive on the move. So again, a massive thank you to HP for sponsoring this video. You can find all the information you need on how to buy one of these bad boys for yourself down in the video description. Please do plug subscribe, ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a ruddy wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.